This is a typical scanned mesh composed of triangular faces. The scanned model has over 96,000 faces. To convert your scanned mesh into a NURBS format, select the Try to NURBS modifier from the modifier list. Use the general conversion settings and update the model. The Mesh to NURBS product is typically used to convert scanned meshes to NURBS. The size of your model will vary the time it takes to convert from a scanned mesh to NURBS. Converting a mesh to a NURBS format makes it compatible with CAD systems. Once your model is converted, you can perform typical NURBS operations to it that you would not be able to do with a mere mesh model. Once you know that the model has no open edges, you can do an STL export from inside Autodesk 3ds Max using NPower tools. So you can create a physical copy of your digital model and convert it to a watertight solid once it is in a NURBS format. We have successfully converted this mesh model into a NURBS format. When you apply an editable NURBS modifier, you should see that your model is one volume, one element, with no open edges. The editable NURBS tool is also located under the NPower Tools 1 drop-down. As you can see, our model is one element, one volume, and contains no open edges. Choose to export as a dot step, which is a standard CAD translation type. You can also export as IGIS, SAT, or any other NURBS format. You can also export your model as a .stl, which is a format used to make a watertight model. We can now view our model in a CAD system like Autodesk Inventor. Open the exported step file. Now the model is ready at manufacturable quality. After you have converted your scan mesh to a NURBS model, you can also perform NURBS operations to it and alter the model as you desire. For example, we can boolean this carousel pole to our horse. Select the Power Boolean tool. The Power Boolean tool is also located under the NPower Tools 1 drop-down. Set the operation to Union. Choose the Start Picking button and select your carousel pole to Union to your horse model. Once you have used the Power Boolean tool, you can also apply an editable NURBS modifier to verify that the model has no open edges. and you can continue to edit your model with NURBS tools, like the Power Fillet command, also located under the NPower Tools 1 drop-down. Enter Edge Selection Mode. And choose an edge you wish to fill it. Adjust to your desired radius distance. And show Fillet Result. Next, you can export the newly filleted and booleaned model. Choose to export as a dot step, which is a standard CAD translation type. You can also export as IGIS, SAT, or any other NURBS format. You can also export your model as a dot STL, which is a format used to make a watertight model. View the model in a CAD system like Autodesk Inventor. Newly designed model at manufacturable quality. Undo your latest commands. 
You can go back and modify your model to different commands to suit your design needs. For example, modifying to a Boolean subtraction. Our model has no open edges, is one solid, is one volume, and is ready to export. Choose to export as a dot step, which is a standard CAD translation type. You can also export as IGIS, SAT, or any other NURBS format. You can also export your model as a dot STL, which is a format used to make a water type model. View the model in a CAD system like Autodesk Inventor. Open your newest exported step file. The model is ready at manufacturable quality once again.